Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was overwhelmed with opposition and in the midst of that opposition Allah gave him something to be optimistic about. He reminded him wa laqad atainaka sab'an min al-mathani wal Qur'an al-'azim al-'azim. We have given you 7 of the oft repeated ones that are full of praise and additionally we've given you the great Qur'an. What are these 7 often repeated ones that are full of praise? That's actually the Fatiha. Allah Azza wa Jal describes, instead of saying to the Prophet, I've given you the Qur'an, He says, in a sense, I gave you the Fatiha, and then I gave you the Qur'an. And look at how He described the Fatiha. He could have just said, we've given you the Fatiha. No, the seven that are highly praised, and the seven that are often repeated. What part of the Qur'an does the Ummah repeat more than anything else? Every time we stand in prayer, we, we recite the Fatiha. Every opportunity we get, we recite the Fatiha. And the opening of the Fatiha, Alhamdulillah, in a sense, we say all the time around each other. This part of the Qur'an, Allah inspired us to repeat more than any other part because it shapes our view of the rest of the Qur'an. There's no wonder that that's the beginning of the Qur'an. And there's no wonder that in, in even in for myself, if somebody wants to embark on a journey of the Qur'an, what better place to begin than Sab'am min al-Mathani. How Allah Azza wa Jal separates it from the rest of Allah's book is absolutely remarkable. It's a, it stands in a place all its own. And so I invite you to this first step of the journey of the Qur'an, the Fatiha.